Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're back in Sosnovka and I have four John Deere mods review for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at these. I'm going to take you over the shop with me to check out some of the specs and then we're going to get them out on the field and test them out. So we got a big old plow over here, a couple of tractors and a seeder slash cultivator slash fertilizer. So I'm going to come in for a landing. Sorry, I gotta keep turning over to my keyboard because my gamepad doesn't have half of these functions into it. Okay, anyway, this is the John Deere 4755 version 2.2. The file size is 21.5 megabytes. The power is 111 kilowatts with 151 horsepower. The price is 48,500 in the shop with a $32 a day maintenance fee. The max speed is 49 kilometers an hour and there's three different versions of this. Very quickly take you over to the shop, mods, tractors, there's the three variations of the same tractor. We have our dual wheel, big tire, and crop row tire. All the same price, all the same power. Okay, so there is, let me bring up my tool menu here. There is a couple of things you can do from the outside. Doesn't that look cool? I love the flat top on it. That's what really caught my eye. It just got a different look from every other regular John Deere. And look at it compared to this guy. It's like a little baby. It's like a little baby. Okay, anyway, what I was saying, you can, uh, with the R button, you can add or remove the fenders. Back in here, you can take off a set of tires or add them with the R button. Very nice looking tractor. Very nice. Okay, inside we go. So yeah, it's kind of funny. Look how uh, small that opening is. He'd, uh, that'd be a tight fit trying to crawl in there, that's for sure. Check out his arms. Tell me that ain't uh, talent. <laughs> the way his arms go, it's just too funny. Okay. Let's test out some of the lights and stuff before I bring you inside the cab. There is no horn on this, unfortunately. But we got some bright lights. Some back lights. So the signal lights, hazards, yes, no beacons on this as well. So that's about it for the outside. Let's jump inside and we have a very small amount of IC controls, but I'll show you that. The door, obviously. It's kind of hard to see that uh, trigger here. It's around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, that's one. And we have one in the back. Now I do have to say the inside of this doesn't look good at all. It's very roughly done. It doesn't look great. But the outside more than makes up for it. So, that is that. Onward. We're going to go do the cedar next. Let's do a little walk around here before I start. Now I have to tell you this. Okay, this isn't the one I was talking about actually. Take a little walk around the cedar before I get started. This is the John Deere DB90 Beta Cedar. The file size is 22.8 megabytes. The required power to pull this is 239 kilowatts and 325 horsepower. The price in the shop is 315,850 with a $260 a day maintenance fee. It has a 27 meter work width. It's huge, huge. And 12,000 liter capacity. So, We'll continue to walk around. 27 meter work width, guys. It's huge. Now, one weird thing I don't like about this, I have to say, I don't mind that it cultivates as well as seeds. That's kind of a bonus. And I really don't mind the fact that it fertilizes either. The only thing I don't like, you don't have to put fertilizer in it, and it fertilizes. So, I really don't understand that one, but we'll push on with it. It's still cool regardless, but it, that should be fixed on it. So we're going to move on to our next tractor here. Look at this beast guys. This thing is just huge. This is the John Deere 9620R triples. The file size is 30.5 megabytes. The power is unlisted. <coughs> Excuse me. The price is 468520 in the shop with a $200 a day maintenance fee. The max speed is 42 kilometers an hour. So, let's do a little walk around. Look at this thing. It's a beast. Now, I don't know. Some people will be uh, familiar with the Sosnovkan map, and some won't. But if you are, you'll know 
when you buy vehicles on this map they're inside the dealership you have to drive them out the door guess what this guy would not drive out the door he's just way too big for that so I had to reset him to the to the farm huge looking very nice looking too man very sharp looking tractor okay let's jump inside listen that's a beast okay beacons we got there we go I knew that was gonna get louder hopefully it's not too loud we get a horn we have some big old bright lights as well as the back look how bright they are holy check out the signal lights I like the little arms on the side very nice beautiful looking and we have our hazard so everything works there keypad 8 opens the hood let's get a little, little bit better of a look at that engine uh, you can't see too much. I don't like the rust on that. But it looks a little bit more realistic with the rust on it, I guess. That thing just sounds so beastly, man. Okay. Let's close that up. So, and, uh... Keypad 4, you can see the, the steering wheel on the inside. It can go up and down. We'll go inside and take a better look at that in a second. And with 6, not on your keypad... But your regular six at the top will add a weight to the front watch. There you go. So that's it as far as extra functions. I don't think there's IC controls, but we're going to take a look so inside the cab anyway. And notice that the sound gets quieter, so they did mod that. I like that. Extra weights. Yeah, there is no IC controls, but a nice looking cockpit. Sorry, cab. <laughs> Some people get annoyed at me for saying that. Sorry about that. Uh, speedometer works. Little joystick there moves back and forth. Very nice. Look at all the buttons. Buttons, buttons. Tons of buttons. Yeah, no IC controls. But that's alright. This is the biggest John Deere I've seen yet. Very, very big. Okay, onward. Now we're back over to this massive plow over here. Now, just let me slow down here because I got my speed mod on. I'm kind of flying a little bit too fast, but this thing looks unreal when it's unfolded. Now, guys, when you buy this, this little jack here, it's it's rolled down right now, but when you buy it from the shop, it's going to be rolled up, so that little round hitch there is going to be kind of pushed into the ground. You might have to maneuver it a little bit with your tractor to get that to come up, but once you get attached to it, you're fine because the next time you drop it, that crank will come down so just keep that in mind like it does work it's just it's going to be stuck in the ground when you got it when you first get it so that's what happened to me anyway so this is the John Deere 2730 plow the file size is 23.7 megabytes the required power to pull this is a humongous 405 kilowatts and get this 550 horsepower to pull this so there's not a whole lot of tractors that are going to be able to pull that off. You're going to need a beast to pull this around. Um, let's see here. Yeah, 550 horsepower to pull this. The price in the shop is 124500 with a $35 a day maintenance fee. The work width is 8.0 meters. 8 meter work width. So, I'm going to quickly go over to the shop just to show you guys everything. As promised. There's the plow. Very cool looking. Eight meter work with. There's the power. Look at that. That's a good mod to test like powerful tractors, man. I really like that. And here's our tractors. Like I said, three variations of the smaller one. And the triples. There's the triples there. Almost a half a million for that. Wow. There is our cedar. It probably does more fruit than that, but I'm on a Sosnovkin map that doesn't have multi-fruit, so I'd imagine it would do just about everything. 27 meter work width, guys. It's humongous. And I think that was it. The plow, the cedar, and the two tractors. Yes. Okay, let's go test some of these out. Now, I'm going to jump in the little guy here. He's a little underpowered to be pulling this cedar, but he'll still do it. He'll still do it. Now, wait till you see this beast all unfolded. 
Okay, I'll bring it over here and I'll unfold it on the way so you can check out the animation. Let me get my HUD off. And let's check this out. Look at this. You want to get the seed and done? This is the this is the cedar you want. Look at that. Man. Yeah, this, this tractor is really underpowered to be pulling this, but it, it can still do it. It's just, by rights, this should have probably another 100 horsepower. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. I don't know if there's any hit detection on with this, but we're going to get it underway here. So, yeah, like I said, you watch. Like, it'll, he'll, he'll also fertilize. That's what I don't understand. I wouldn't mind if I had to put fertilizer in it, but you don't. You only got to put seed in it, so that's kind of weird. But some people will like that, some people won't, I guess. Okay, let's get a little zoom in on here so we can see it go down. Okay, I'm going to seed some of this myself. And you can see this thing works. Oh no. Are you telling me I do have to plow? You're going to make a liar out of me, are you? Oh, guys, you may have to cultivate. Sorry about that. I didn't think you had to, but apparently... Oh, I know what the problem is. Let me jump out here. I don't own this field. Let me quickly go over here. Sorry about that. I thought I owned this field. Apparently I don't. That would do it. Back we go. There, no time lost. Just let me back up here a little bit. I thought he was going to make a liar out of me. Okay, let's turn this on and start again. There we go. See, you can tell it's fertilizing. So it's seeding, fertilizing, and cultivating. Everything. So, I mean, some people will really like that. Some people won't. Now, I don't mind it fertilizing, but I just wish that you had to put fertilizer in it. You only have to put seed in it, and it seems to do it all. So, And I'm going to see if I can hire a worker. Yes, you can. So, see what I mean? That tractor's not having too hard of a time pulling that. And look at the work with, guys. I know I keep saying that, but look at the work with. My goodness. Okay. Now, this, like I said, the horsepower is not listed, but I'd imagine this guy got to be at least 500 horsepower. So, we're going to test him out with the plow here. This thing is loud. But what a, what a massive looking tractor. Okay, let's check out the animation here, guys, if I can get that tree out of my way. Get a little zoom down here so we can get a better look. And let's unfold. Some people don't like how long some of these things take to unfold. I like it. The more things that move and twist and bend, and I just love it. I think it just adds to the flavor of the game. I'm not going to try to get lined up with the side there. I'm just going to go. Okay, let's lower this beast down. I said lower. There we go. There we go. We're plowing. So it doesn't seem to have any problem pulling that. And like I said, it has an 8 meter work width. It's not humongous, but it's pretty cool, and I just, that's a really cool looking cedar, I just love it. John Deere makes awesome equipment anyway. So let me try to hire a worker here. Yes, no problem. Excellent, excellent. I might take a little screenshot here. Very cool. So guys, there you have it. That is my quad John Deere review. Additional information will be down below as well as all four links. Thank you so much for joining me guys. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, why not subscribe? I'm sure to bring some great mods your way. And I'm going to be covering Farming Simulator 17 when it comes out. So I hope to see you then. Take care and I'll see you next time.